Have you ever felt a deep connection with someone just through their content? Found yourself nodding your head when you were listening to a podcast or watching a YouTube video? It's likely that this amazing person was tapping into your desires, meeting you where you're at, and just ultimately empathizing with your situation. And you felt that through what they were saying, what they'd written, and what you were hearing. Hey, I'm Elise Cartwright. I'm an online business coach and creative strategist, and I've been implementing human design in my business since 2020. And I've been helping my members integrate it into theirs since 2022. The ultimate goal is to help online entrepreneurs implement their human design into their online business in a way that is easy and fun. So in this video, I'm super excited. We are going to talk about how you can use your human design chart to create content that literally has your audience going, OMG, how did she know that's exactly what I'm feeling right now? Ready? Let's dive in. So it all starts with a throat center, whether you have this defined or not. So if you can't remember, make sure you go and grab your chart. And if you don't have that, head to hustleandgroup.com forward slash chart and go and get it now. I'll wait. If you're a generator, predictor, manifestor or manifesting generator, and you have a defined throat, then you are here to speak from the throat center based on the centers that are connected to your throat. And that will be through a specific channel or channels. So all centers want to express themselves through the throat center. So all roads lead to the throat. But your unique way of doing this when you have your throat center defined is to express this based on the gates and channels that are in your throat center or are connected to the throat center. So if you have an open throat center and you're not a reflector, for my beautiful reflectors, listen up, yours operates a little bit differently. But if you are any other type, so generator, projector, obviously manifesting generators and manifestors always have a defined throat. So if you're a generator or a projector and you have an open throat center, then you're really here to speak to people based on where they are at. So you're not really here to manifest your own stuff, but you're here to communicate in a way that is what the other person needs in the moment. So timing is really important for you. Follow your strategy and authority to know when it is correct for you to speak. So if you're a reflector and you have some defined gates in your throat center, you're not going to have any channels, but you're going to have defined gates, then you're always going to communicate best when you're reflecting back whatever you are seeing and experiencing. No matter what, whether you have a defined throat or not, it's always about communicating based on what you see, but also following your strategy, right? Your strategy will tell you when this is the correct timing, regardless of whether it's defined or not. So when it comes to creating your content, you're going to kind of lean to a different way of doing this. If you have a defined throat, your voice is powerful. Use it. You might be drawn more to doing video or audio. If you have an open throat center, it's not that you can't do video or audio, but it is very much based on your audience. What is it that they need to hear and see? And you might find that you have a multitude of ways to communicate. So in some instances, you might use video. In other instances, you might use the written word. It does depend on the gates that you might have defined in your throat center, even though it's open. Again, follow your strategy and authority to determine what is going to work best for you and your audience. And you can combine this by using the discoverable content system. Now I have a video on that. I'm going to link that above and it will be in the description. So if you really want to understand the communication piece, particularly from a defined throat perspective, then I definitely encourage you to go and watch that video because it will give you much more of a deeper understanding of how this all comes together in one very unique way of creating content based on an offer, 
not for the sake of creating content. So once you understand your natural way of communicating, right? So this is very much about not having to think, how do I best communicate? It's always about what naturally do you default to? That is typically going to be your normal way of communicating. So once we know that, then we can start to understand how the other elements in our chart can help us really create content that attracts our ideal customers. And we can also use our chart to determine how we can connect with our audience based on where they are at right now. So this is another time where you definitely want to pull out your human sign chart because now we're going to look at a few different centers. And we're going to look at this in a couple of different ways. So now that you understand your way of communicating, let's dive into two centers in your chart that are going to help you really connect with your audience and attract your ideal customer. And that is the two pressure centers. So there are two pressure centers. There is a head center at the top of your chart, which is a pressure center. And then there is the root center, which is at the bottom of your chart. These are two pressure centers. And what that simply means is that for the most amount of time you and your audience are going to experience pressure in one of those areas, if not in both. Now, let's talk about how you can use those pressure centers to communicate and connect with your audience in your content. So when you look at the head center, it's about understanding that this is the center for inspiration. It's designed to think and seek right? That's the whole point of the head center. There are three gates in the head center. Each of these gates is designed to ask questions, understand doubts, and deal with confusion. So when you start to understand that, you can start to get an understanding of how that might help you create content for your audience. You can do this even more by understanding the shadow of each of those gates. So the shadow side of each gate comes from the gene keys. Do a quick Google search. You will find that there's tons of information on this. And specifically, if you look at your head center or you look at, the, at just the head center gates, you will see that there is a shadow meaning for each gate. And when you do that, you can start to understand why a large chunk of your audience tend to overthink and worry about things that they cannot control. So this is where you can tailor your middle of funnel content. And if you're wondering what that is, it just means this is the content that addresses concerns. It's the content that addresses all the things that your audience might be struggling with when it comes to the result that they're looking to achieve, aka whatever it is that you're helping them do through your own programs, courses, coaching, whatever that is. So this is where you can 100% deal with self-doubt, overthinking, worry. And then you do that through the lens of your offers, right? So if we come back to that discoverable content training, that's, this is where this really gives a lot of power and weight. And we'll literally have your audience going, how did she know that I was thinking that? Right? So really dive into those individual gates and understand what the shadow meanings mean for your audience through the lens of your offer. So then we move to the second pressure center, the root center. Now this is at the bottom of every chart. So the pressure of the center is to move into action. The root center is a fueling center, right? Each of the gates that are in the center are designed to fuel whatever it's connected to. And the core overarching theme of the root center is adrenaline, motivation, stress, and chaos. So when someone has the center open, they're going to be far more susceptible to believing that they can't handle stress and that they cannot manage chaos. So then same deal, when you look at the shadow meanings for each of the nine gates in the root center, you can start to understand why so many of your audience feel like they have to rush to get all the things done 
in a certain period of time. They may impose self-inflicted deadlines when they don't need to do that. And they will feel that they have to rush, right? They've got to get the they've got to be the fastest person to get this thing done. So same same deal as what we were talking about with the head center. You can then tailor your content to address those specific feelings. So things like believing that the only way that they're going to get stuff done is when they're in a stressful situation. So they're imposing ridiculous deadlines or believing that the only way that they're going to get stuff done is to load up all their to-do lists with all the things. So when you understand each individual gate and then you understand that shadow meaning, you will see that there is so much content just from the head and root centers. So you can take this a step further and apply this to all the gates in every single center. So for example, if you find a lot of your audience are fearful about making changes, then dive into the spleen, check out the gates and go and look at the shadow meanings for each of those. You'll be able to create content that speaks directly to that pain point. Or if you find that your audience is struggling with the belief around their worthiness when it comes to the business, particularly if they struggle with self-worth and pricing. And focusing on the heart center gates and the shadow meanings will give you some insight into the content that you can create to address those pain points. No matter how you go about creating your content, it's important to keep the following things in mind. Number one, who your target customer is and the offers that you have in place. Then how your content can actually help them solve a small problem, address a concern, bust a myth, or inspire them into taking some type of action. I recommend that when you go through and do this, that you have your offers beside you and you understand who your target customer is. So when you're looking at each of the individual gates and you're looking at the shadow meaning, then you can jump to the problems that you have for each offer and see if there is something that aligns. Use this as prompts to help you create that content. Again, I'm going to remind you to go and check out the Discoverable Content System training. The video will be somewhere around here because that is going to help you incorporate all of this. But Shadow Meaning is going to give you a resource for generating so many ideas for content that you're never going to run out of it. And you don't even need to use this content to create your blog posts, your YouTube or your podcast episodes, you could use it just to help you create in the moment content. And what I mean by that is content for your emails, content for sharing on social media, always through the lens of your target customer and your offers. In the next video, I'm going to take you through the individual human design centers and how this can actually shape your audience, particularly when they are out of alignment. And here's the thing, you don't even need to know about their human design chart to use this. I'll see you in that video now.